Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how to test your oil pressure switch. You can test the oil pressure switch while it's on the car or when it's removed from the car. Many people think the oil pressure switch is there to tell you how much oil you have. That is incorrect. You can have a minimum amount of oil and still have sufficient oil pressure in your engine. The oil pressure switch is there to tell you when the oil pressure is low. If you have an oil leak, you will lose pressure and therefore the oil pressure switch should notify your ECU of that problem. You can have an engine that is full to capacity with oil and still have low oil pressure. So it's still important to check the level of your oil as well. Just having a look at the principle of operation, we get a normally open and a normally closed oil pressure switch. For example, this is the switch body and the switch is connected to your ECU. And if you look at this one, it says normally open. That means that when the car is off, the point from the terminal there to the body of the oil pressure switch is an open circuit. When the oil pressure builds up to the correct point for your engine, the switch actually goes closed circuit. The ECU monitors the closed circuit and if the circuit opens, it knows there's a loss of oil pressure. On the normally closed side, the switch is closed until there's enough pressure. When you start your car and the pressure builds up in the engine, it'll actually open the switch over here. The ECU monitors the switch and if the switch closes again, the ECU knows that there is a loss of oil pressure. Right, I have a multimeter and here are the leads. If I have a short circuit, for example, I'm measuring across the screwdriver, this is a dead short and as you can see, it says zero here or very low ohms. You can see they're 1.3 ohms. But you can also hear the buzzer telling me that it is a dead short. Now I've connected the one lead to that terminal. Now you can see there is only one terminal there because the other terminal is actually the body. If your oil pressure switch looks like this, you will measure between that lead and the body over there. If yours looks like this, you'll measure between there and there. If yours looks like this, you'll measure between there and there. If yours looks like this, you'll measure between there and there. If yours looks like this with a hexagonal head, you'll measure between there and there. And there you can see it is a dead short, telling me that this is in the closed position. Now over here I have compressed air. And I'm going to use the compressed air to mimic oil pressure. If you do not have compressed air, just do the measurement while it's on your vehicle. Now if I have a look at this oil pressure switch, it actually says on the body 0.2 to 0.5 bar. It is different for different vehicles. Some cars 0.25 all the way up to about 0.75 bar. Inside the switch is a diaphragm that is going to move and open the contacts as the pressure builds up. Right now the contacts are a dead short. You can hear it's a dead short. You can see on my meter. And now I'm going to blow it with the compressed air. You can see that when I blow the air there, it goes open circuit on the meter. And if I show you the ohms, you can see at the moment it's 2.2. And when I blow into the hole there, you can see on the meter it said offline, meaning that it was an open circuit. So this oil pressure switch is functioning correctly. If you were going to test this on your vehicle, so what you'll do is you'll measure between the terminals. If it's a normally closed switch, it'll be a short circuit. When you start your vehicle and the oil pressure builds up, it should become an open circuit. If your oil pressure switch is a normally open oil pressure switch, then when you measure it while the car is off, it'll be an open circuit. When the oil pressure builds up, it will become a closed circuit. Please note that when I do blow into the hole here, I do not force it on like that. The pressure will be too high. Remember, this opens at a fairly low pressure below one bar. So be careful not to have your compressor too high. You do not want to damage the diaphragm inside here. These tests were conducted at about one bar. Now on some oil pressure switches you can actually feel the contact moving inside. For example, as I depress the trigger here, I can actually feel through the body here the contacts opening and closing. It's almost like a relay. I don't know if you notice, I'm getting some oil residue on my fingers. So what has happened here is this particular one has leaked. The oil pressure switch is leaking and I'll quickly show you how to test that as well. You can put a bit of water here. Right, so there you can see I put some water there and when I blow it, you will see either air bubbles or that level rising. Right, so there is the compressed air and as I press the trigger, look at the water.
So you can see in this case, the oil pressure switch electrically works, but has lost its ability to insulate from the oil. If you do not have an air compressor, you can use a blower. And as I use my blower, look what happens to the water. So you could see air bubbles and the water level rises. Now on some oil pressure switches, it doesn't leak there, but it actually leaks on the seam over here. So in order to test that, what I do is I immerse the oil pressure switch in a glass. Right, there you can see the leak in the oil pressure switch. In this case, it is only leaking over there, which is understandable because this is a single construction. Some oil pressure switches, you'll find that it's not like that and it leaks outside over there. Right, thanks for watching and cheers.